Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course the law of attraction. In today's video, I am going to be channeling a message from a masculine so I don't know who is going to come through here yet, but right away, the sun card in the upright position, this really speaks to new beginnings. I'm also hearing that something about the number one or the number 11 may be significant to someone. For some reason, I'm also getting this very observational kind of watching energy looking at this card. So I feel like someone has their eyes on you, whoever you are listening, and is watching you in some way, not in like a creepy way, I don't think, but just in the sense that they are very focused on you, whether that's, I'm hearing trying to find you, trying to look for you, trying to catch a glimpse of you desperate to be around you. So I feel like this is someone that you may be aware of, that you're connected to. I feel like this person might be close to you in proximity, so you might live near one another physically, or they could just energetically be thinking about you so much, sending you so much energy at this time that you feel them persistently in your energy field as well. So even if they're far away, they feel close to you in that sense. There's something about a fish here coming up for someone also. Also sunbathing. I don't know why that's coming up here. So I want to know, and oh, and this sun card is also on the hearts. That's very significant because this speaks to, I'm hearing someone longing for love, for a fresh start in love. So what is going on with this person who wants a fresh start in love? Patience in the upright position. So this to me indicates that this person has been, I'm hearing, stuck on you for a long time. So they've been sending you energy for a while now. This isn't a sudden or recent. I'm hearing they try to put it back down, but end up picking it back up. So it's almost like they try not to really think about you. I feel like you might not be in a lot of interaction or communication with this person in the physical at this time. And part of that is because with financial constraints upright, I feel like one or both of you here has been very focused on either your work, your career, or yourself. And although this has been a time of growth in career, work, or finances for you or for this person, it could go either way. I feel that this has kind of blocked one or both of you from connecting with each other or from fully for meeting for some of you because some of you haven't even met this person for some reason i heard met them properly so this might be someone that you've seen or met briefly but not fully really connected with in the physical but i do feel that every time there's like a little bit of frustration here with cornucopia reversed kind of a playful frustration a feeling of every time it's like barely missing each other is the feeling I'm getting from you and this person with cornucopia reversed. It's like wanting something that you can't quite seem to grasp, but that you can't quite seem to attain. That's kind of the energy I'm getting from you and this person. What else is going on here in this situation? I'm actually going to pull a few cards from the separation deck here. So what else is going on with this person? I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them. Yeah, so I feel that you and this person may have connected briefly or met or had some form of a connection. 
at some point in time, or you may have not met this person, but regardless, they really strongly sense you and are feeling a strong, I'm hearing some kind of strong spiritual or emotional connection to you that seems really persistent for them. In fact, this person is sending you so much energy that you may find yourself thinking of them as well, just as a result of this. It's almost like this person is manifesting you into their life in a sense because they are thinking of you so heavily. And again, with I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them. There is this feeling of them not being able to control themselves around thinking of you, around longing to, I'm hearing to get to know you better or to reconnect more more deeply in the physical world. What else is going on here with this person? I'm actually going to get some cards from the Hidden Truth Oracle. I feel like you're kind of aware of the identity of this person. Even if you don't play a large role in each other's day-to-day -day life, there's like this feeling of this person always kind of being there in the back of your mind. I'm so attracted to you. Yeah, so there's a lot of physical attraction. I definitely felt that coming from this person towards you. But also there's something emotional and spiritual here because if it was purely physical attraction, this person wouldn't with this patience card just continue to think about you. There's something else going on here as well. So what else is happening here? I am not available. Interesting. So I feel that one or both of you may actually be caught up in some other connection. You either might be dating someone or with someone else. Maybe when you met, this person was actually interested in dating or with someone else. There's this feeling of not quite aligning with each other, of one person being available when the other isn't available and vice versa. It's time to take action. I heard coming in very soon. I feel that this person will be trying to reconnect or to connect more deeply with you very soon because something within them I feel recently has really been pushing them. I'm hearing, I have to know where this goes or I have to know where this leads. I have to shoot my shot is what I'm hearing from someone here. So I feel like you will, if you haven't yet, be approached by this person in whatever way they can reach out to you, whether it's over social media, whether it's, for many of you, I feel this person coming up to you in person in the physical worlds, but take that as it resonates with you. Believe in the impossible and your hard work is paying off. Believe in the impossible, blue moon. I feel like this person feels like it's a long shot with you and I feel like it's because this person sees you as I'm hearing being like this goddess, being very out of their league. But also for some of you, this could be feeling impossible to them because they feel as though you may already be otherwise committed. You may already have someone else, but there's this energy of this person not really being entirely sure of the status of your relationship or whether you are fully committed to another person. Breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe and star family. You're part of a team of souls. Call in supports. Okay, so with that star family card, I am now strongly feeling that you and this person are connected spiritually at the soul level. So at the least, this person is a romantic soulmate for you. They are part of your soul group, which is why you have felt or they have felt this really strong pull. And I also feel that at this time, your spiritual connectivity to this person is heightened. I'm hearing dreams about each other. So one or both of you is dreaming about the other. There's a lot of spiritual energy going back and forth, really activating that soulmate bond that you already share. When I say soulmate, by the way, 
I do mean anyone in your soul family. Soulmates can be platonic or romantic. However, a twin flame is sometimes considered the highest level of soulmates because you aren't just part of the same soul family. You also share the same core soul frequency. So I feel this person could be a twin flame, but also they could be a romantic soulmate. Failure in the reverse. Okay, so I feel like I feel like this is a very optimistic, happy-go-lucky kind of person. For some reason, I'm getting the vibe that they either manage other people in some kind of a corporate position or they work very closely with other people and they are naturally seen as a kind of leader because of their optimistic outlook and atti attitude and because I feel they're very easygoing and connect easily with others. However, when it comes to you, this person is trying to bring that same optimistic attitude, but they are really afraid of failing here in the sense of being rejected. And I feel that could be part of what has held them back. Like they've kind of been potentially waiting for a sign from you that you would be interested. And I feel that in many cases, you have been so focused on yourself, your work, or potentially even some other connection or relationship in your life that energetically you have been kind of pushing this person out a little bit or keeping that them at arm's length, either intentionally or unintentionally victory in the reverse position yeah this person is really afraid i'm hearing if i were to ask you out would you say no so it might be that literal for some but there's this fear coming up that if they were to step forward that they would be rejected but i feel this person is going to put themselves out there regardless I'm hearing within the next few months because this is a very optimistic person and I do feel I'm hearing your saga or story with this person. If you've had some kind of ongoing slight connection or interaction or there's been something between you and the physical worlds, I feel that a part of you may have thought that maybe this story between you, if you want to call it that, had come to a close. I just saw the number 1212. You may have thought that it was over or that it was nothing, but I feel that it's not over with this person. I feel that this connection between you is still spiritually very active and that this person will be coming forward within a few months. And your intuition, I also feel, has been speaking about that, which is why you may have felt drawn to this reading to begin with, because you've really been sensing this person again, sending you that energy, essentially trying to manifest or call you into their life. You came closer than anyone. So I feel that even if your interactions in the past with this person were brief, there is this feeling that there could be a potential for depth between you. That's the feeling like that there was a lot of mutual feelings of there could be potential here in this connection somehow. Very interesting reading. I don't normally read into these types of connections or at least in this type of way. I feel that this reading will probably only connect with a few people listening, but if this was your reading, then I do hope it connected with you in a meaningful way. I just saw the number 333. There's been a lot of synchronicities in this reading also. I also just want to share with you as we close out this reading that I do create subliminal affirmations, otherwise known as subliminals, in addition to doing these readings and videos. And subliminals are essentially a sound therapy meditation tool to deeply reprogram your own subconscious mind. And the way that they work is to bypass the filter, the gatekeeper of the conscious mind by using unconscious affirmations. So affirmations your conscious mind can't fully hear that are embedded within other sounds and frequencies. And this is for the purpose of 
again, bypassing that filter of the conscious mind and making those more lasting impressions on the subconscious mind. And the reason I am so passionate about subliminals is because I didn't really see results from manifesting from the law of attraction, from using different law of attraction techniques until I started meditating with subliminals. And within just a few weeks of using subliminals on a daily basis, I started to see profound results and changes in all areas of my life. So now I create subliminals myself and also offer them and make them available to others through my website, soundandsoulful.com. So as you can see on the screen, on this website, I have over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. So I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts like confidence and happiness, for material manifestations like money and business success, but the subliminal that I personally use every single morning that I've been using for almost two years now to deeply clear and magnetize my own energy field is my seven chakra clearing subliminal meditation. This is a very comprehensive, deep level energy clearing to help you magnetize your desires in life. So the link to this seven chakra clearing is in the pinned comment and description box. And again, this comes from my website, soundandsoulful.com. And when you create a free trial account on my website, you can try out any subliminal I've created completely free for seven days. And again, all of that information is linked below. Let me know in the comments if anything from this reading resonated with you. And otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day.